It's happened so often that I hate to admit. I've stored my leftover seeds in plastic bags, envelopes. I've even kept some in drawers and storage bins. And by the time I find them again, the labels have come off or I can't tell which is which. This year, 2021, I've decided I'm gonna find a better solution. Find a way to organize my seeds. I'm gonna show you how I've chose to organize all of my seeds that I've collected from the garden, as well as seeds that I have recently ordered or seeds that I have in my collection. Yes, I am using the three ring binder method for my spring 2021 garden season. And if you'd like to see how I'm doing it, keep watching. Hello, welcome to Blitzful Spaces. This is where I garden and cook healthy meals. If you're into that, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Don't forget the bell down below so you don't miss my next update. If you're new to my channel, welcome, elbow bum. I am organizing. This is how I'm gonna keep my seeds organized. We went through all my seeds. A huge storage bin. I'm not gonna share that, but I will share the seeds that I decided to go ahead and use for my spring garden. I'm using a, a three, three ring binder. These are all the seeds that I will be using. And then as the seasons change, I can go ahead and take out seeds or add more seeds. But right now, this right here is just for my spring garden. It might seem like a lot of seeds, but believe me, it's really not. This particular binder has, let me just show you the front of it. There it goes. It has a lot of different storage areas. In this little area, I'm gonna go ahead and place my catalogs. So I've already had the opportunity to look through my catalogs. I've ordered a couple of seeds that I didn't have. And I always try to uh, order new seeds for the season. And I'm sure you're like me. So this one had a lot of good seeds and I'm really excited. I can't wait for them to arrive. You can see I still have plenty of room. You really don't have to put your catalogs in here. I like to take my binder out with me when I garden, especially in the spring because weather is so beautiful, listening to the sounds of nature, watching nature. Usually I'll take out some of my inspirational books. So you don't just have to put your seed catalogs, you can also include your reading material you're gonna use. You can take it out with you and put it in your binder. So I love that and it has extra storage. Here it is. This is what I did. So I have all the seeds that I will be growing. And briefly, I'll go, go through the seeds. Um, well, actually, maybe I should start. I haven't added my tabs yet, and that will be the last thing that I do. I just wanted to share. The first thing I do, a list. Next thing that I do is to plan my, my layout. Now that I know I have a list of the things that I want to grow, I pulled out my seeds and I've added them to my binder. So again, this binder is just for spring, okay? And then as the seasons change, I can, in this binder, I did put most of the seeds. I have two of everything. Let's see. Yeah, I have two of everything. So as the seasons change, I can pull out the seeds that I didn't use and then place them with, you know, with the seeds of things that I want to grow. So I'll go ahead quickly. And right here I have all my Xena seeds. I'm so excited. So these are all the new Xena seeds that my husband bought me as, as one of my Christmas gifts. And I'll, I'll go through that. And then right here are my herbs. And then I have the vegetables. And then in the back... These are the smaller, these are the baseball card sleeve envelopes. And these I have for my seeds that I've collected. So I will fill those up. And then I did uh, order some seed packaging. It's my seeds that I've collected in. For example, let me show you. you. Collect your seeds in your garden. 
you want to dry them out dry once they're completely dry i'll transport them into either a plastic bag or if i have a large collection of them then i'll put them in mason jars what i will do next is transfer those seeds into my little seed packets okay and then i will label them i'll put peppers uh, from 2020 and then I will just add them to my binder, okay? And then these, the, the seeds that I've collected, I will always keep in the binder. I'll show you at the end of the video, me just putting the seeds in the little packet. But let's go through the seeds. So I have two uh, gold light sunflowers. I'll plant one. And of course, I will save the other one. So actually I could probably pull that out, but I'm just gonna leave it in there for now. So this area is just sunflowers. And I, I have room to add more. I do have more sunflowers in my bin, but these this is the one that I wanted to, to try for. And then this is a giant hybrid dahlia. And I, like I said, I have two. So I'm just gonna plant one. And if I really enjoy them, then I can always plant more. But I always purchase two of everything. That's just my preference, you don't have to do it. This is the giant coral zenas. And I do have a video where I already went over my zinnia plants. The giant white, again, two of those. Giant coral, giant orange. Again, there's two of those. The giant salmon rose. I like these pockets. I can add my seeds and then when I flip them over, I can read all the instructions. I just love the binder. Weather's nice, I love being outside. So with this binder, I can just zip this up and take it out with me. I've got my inspirational books, I have my catalogs, I have my seeds. And then, oh, did I show? Oh, the beginning of the binder. I have my pens. Normally I try to grow by seeds, but because of COVID and everything that was going on, I went ahead and I got a lot of plants and I saved some of the markers. The plants that really produced for me that I enjoyed, I saved the markers just so that I can remember I want to grow those again. Then I can just reuse them again. And then you have little pockets. I just have rubber, rubber band. Normally I have my garden string in these little pockets. They come really come in handy. I love this binder. So the, the golden yellow Xenas, the giant golden yellow, giant deep red, giant deep purple. And again, we have two of each. Deep red orange, Oklahoma Salmon Zena, Sonora Zima, I'm orange, again, we have two. Giant Lime, again, two. Sonora Zena, Sonora Zena. Okay, so those are all the flowers, Zena flowers that I will be growing for the spring, and I'm so excited. And then here are some of my, oops, so as you know, I love chamomile. I love to make my own tea. So I have some common chamomile, some trailing nasturtiums, and these are new for me. I, although I do have a variety of nasturtiums, but I've never grown the trailing ones. So that's new. Be on the lookout for those videos because I'm excited about growing that. Stevia, always have that in the garden because of COVID last season, it was hard to find the seeds. So of course I have two packets. I will use one and save one. And then of course I'll collect the seeds from the ones that I grow in the spring. I have some basil. Gotta always have basil in your garden. I collected basil seeds, um, the Thai basil, the holy basil. All my herbs, I collected seeds. So I have those seeds in mason jars. Um, Decon radishes, oh, my favorite. And, oh no, I thought I had two, but I just pulled out one of those, so that's good. Um, cumin, cumin is new for me, so watch out for the updates on my cumin. 
growing in the garden. And of course, I have two packets. So I will just use one, but that's there. Um, oh, there it is, daycon radishes. I knew I had two of them, that I put two of them in there. Then another variety, the black Spanish uh, radishes. I have some of those in the garden and those are almost ready to harvest. So I will do an update on that. I love those. And then just some regular, some more radish seeds. So excited because we are getting ready to, my next video is going to be a seed starter video. Um, I've already started 15 trays. We'll share that with you. I will film that with you. Sun gold, I've already planted, started planting my sun, sun gold. And of course I always have uh, two or three. Whenever I, I like a seed or if I, my family enjoys the vegetables, I always make sure I get at least two or three. So I have two packs of sun gold, two packs of cherry tomatoes. Then I have the beef steak, beef steak tomatoes, the, the greenhouse cucumbers. And then these are the striped Armenian cucumbers. I'm excited. This one's a new one for me. So I will probably plant those. Then the cucumbers, I love my cucumbers. I have so many packs of cucumbers. My storage container, a straight eight, love those. The spring, cucumber spring burpleys, the English uh, cucumbers, love those. And then, let's see, yep. And then, yeah, the English, I have some uh, Japanese cucumbers. I need to add those too. And then um, kale. I usually don't plant the hybrids, but because there was a seed sh shortage, I just ordered a whole bunch of seeds. Some more kale. Malabar spinach. This is new. I have the green one and the red one. I'm excited about growing that. Then just some regular dark green spinach. Swiss chard, you have to have Swiss chard in your gardens. I love it. Or Swiss chard. This is the peppermint Swiss chard and then the giant green Swiss chard. And I've already been planting my Swiss chard. So I, I'm continuing uh, every two weeks, I plant Swiss chard, mustard green, Oh my goodness, the giant red mustard greens are delicious. I have a video where I had a, a garden update on my mustard greens, and then I also have a video where I made stuffed giant mustard greens, and they were so delicious with a ricotta and cheese. Check that out if you haven't already seen it. Of the mustard greens, again, another variety. I love carrots, and so, again, some more carrots. Then the carrot, petite, little fingers. Those are delicious. And then I have room, like I said, I just kind of like started filling uh, my binder, and I was like, you know what, let me do a quick little video. Still, as you can see, I have extra room for pockets, so I'm still adding seeds. I want to add more carrots, more lettuce seeds, and then more mustard. I, of course, you gotta have your uh, Georgia collard mustard greens in there. So I'm still filling these up, but I just wanted to share a few of the seeds that I've already collected. A crunch, or two of butter crunch, two of the blend. Fennel, there are a variety of Johnny seeds, fennel. Okra, mindless, and then the Louisiana green velvet. I did order the orange and the red okra. Um, from Johnny Seeds, and that should be here soon. Red Noodle, Pulby. I'm so excited about trying that this season. So I have two packets, of course. So I hope those do really good because I'm really excited. Looking forward to making some stir fries. I love Blue Lake, beans, and corn. Corn, it, corn and cabbage are the only two vegetables that I really, you know, I really don't look forward to growing because, of course, you get all the pest. But um, I'm going to go ahead and try it again. Bikini squash 
And then the patty pan summer squash, the sunburst. Those are my favorite. Dark green zucchinis. I will be planting cantaloupe. I do have envelope. I have a variety of watermelon that I will be planting. And so I'll have to go through and decide which ones do I want to plant. There's four varieties that I said that I wanted to plant. And then cantaloupe, the hearts of gold. I did order from Baker's Creek two uh, different varieties of cantaloupe. I'll share those as they come in. Pumpkin, I did order three more varieties of pumpkin seeds from Baker's Creek. And I'll share those as they, they come in. My cabbage, uh, this is a Chinese cabbage. I do have bok choy, the purple bok choy, um, the regular baby bok choy, and then bok choy that I will add to these three slots right here. In fact, I'll probably add another sleeve because I love my Asian greens. The top, top soy Asian greens, I did order some of those, so I've written for those. And then these are some beets, the white beets. I need to add another pack because I do have some choy beets so I'll add another sleeve because we definitely have to have beets. I have beets in the garden right now. And then again, these are just the baseball size envelope, uh, sleeves. And then now I'm gonna show you how I put the seeds in the little envelope. And that'll probably be the end of this sharing. So I know there's so many different ways. I do have the storage bin. I do have the photo um uh containers but those i i store my rare seeds and i also store majority of my bulk seeds in that container i just wanted something that i can take out in the garden with me and so i'm choosing to use the vine just convenient for me i just wanted to share with you there's so many different ways of storing your seeds and this is so convenient so like i said this is just for the spring and so as the season change what of these seeds will be gone because they'll be planted in the ground and then for the summer I could do it all over again just add my seeds that I'm gonna plant for the summer my seeds that I've been saving will stay in the binder so much for sticking around I really appreciate you I appreciate your support give this video a thumbs up Thank you.